Drawing a shaded skull like this with markers is all about organizing your values and training your eyes to design interesting shapes with accurate proportions. I started the drawing by mapping in all the shadow shapes with a marker value number five and the number nine for the darkest of the shadows. Then I go back down to a marker number three and work on the edge transitions from shadow to light. These are the darkest halftones from the light family. Then I'll go to the number one marker for the lightest halftones, leaving only the highlight shapes as the white of the paper. Oh yeah, and a brush pen for the outlines and stuff. This, ladies and gentlemen, is called the visual language. Can you look at your reference and break it down into an organized set of shapes and values? Learn how to communicate with pictures in my Drawing Basics course over at Proko.com. Once you understand those fundamental drawing concepts, you can apply them to other mediums, like markers. <laughs>